What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Refreshing the Feed podcast. My name is Matthew, his name is Andrew, and we're breaking down the Super Bowl pregame. Andrew, this is big. This is big, this is big, this is big. The biggest the sporting event. The biggest oh, the whole sporting year. event of the year. 100%. Biggest sporting event. The GOAT versus the baby goat. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. No, I don't know if I would say baby goat. I wouldn't know. I don't know if I say baby goat. He's got a lot to, a lot to go. Potential first, baby goat. Um, so the Super Bowl this year is going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Kansas City Chiefs. Sir. Uh, it's going to be super interesting. Two teams that KC is clearly favorite, but 100%. You, you know that the resilience of Tom Brady, resilience, that's right, right? Yeah, 100%. Like resilience. The resilience of Tom Brady. Yeah, resilience of Tom Brady is always going to prevail. Like, I, th- that's what I think, personally. I think he's, like, it's going to, like, he's 100% going to find a way. You're like, going he has with... to find a way. Tom Brady. If if Tom but, hold Brady. Hold on, I'm not going to reveal my pick yet. We're going to re- reveal our picks yeah, at the end. Yeah, sorry. All right. Okay, go. If Tom Brady, go ahead. No, if Tom Brady ends up pulling this one out of his ass. Okay, how big, you're a bigger football fan than I am, admittedly. This is big. This is big. No, no, no. But I mean, how big of a mismatch is this? Not a big is mismatch Tampa, at all. Is Tampa is right? It's not as big as nope. people like to think. KC nope, is one hundred percent favorite. They're a great team. They won the Super Bowl Tampa last Bay year. Is a good team, but and Tampa, you have one of the most resilient football players in the history of the NFL playing on your team, and that person is Tom Brady. That guy can find a way to win games off the ball. Somehow, the, gr- the greatest thing about the Super Bowl. Um, compared to other sporting finals, is that it's a one and done, and anything can happen in that game. Yeah, you have hockey and basketball. It's not a season of best seven. of yeah, seven. It's not a series of seven. No, yeah. it's one game. You show up for one game, you could win this. If Tom you leave Brady your life out on that field. If Tom Brady is great uh, up to what he has been, they could win this, right? Yeah. So, uh, I was watching an interview actually of a um, very, very, very knowledgeable man. By the name of Tony Romo, he is now Tony a commentator. Ramos. He's an an- Tony Romo. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> I'm saying he's he, oh, the, one of the best. S- super knowledgeable, super yeah. knowledgeable. He's so, got like the, especially so when he commentates, he's like, oh, I know what's gonna happen here, and you, yeah, he's he a psychic. Down everything. He said, he states clearly that this is Patrick Mahomes' biggest game of his life if he ever wants to catch Tom Brady, and I agree. How many? Okay, how many rings does Brady have? Five Tom, right now. Tom Brady has six right now. Six. This right will now. be this will be his seventh ring, his seventh Super Bowl ring, the most out of any player in the NFL. That's NFL so hard history. to catch. That's crazy. But listen, it's not hard to catch. Oh, okay, uh, it is hard to catch, obviously. But Mahomes is supposed to be a great. He's projected to be a great the way he plays right now. So far in his if, career, he's been great. Yes. If they if they're able to isolate. His abilities right now get the job done for KC this Sunday. He will always be known as the guy that took down Brady, the next yeah. up and coming big name. There's obviously been guys that took down Brady, like um, my boy Eli, Nick Foles, Nick Foles, Nick yeah. Foles. Oh my God, but, that's insane! We just said Eli beat him twice, New York beat him twice, uh, Nick Foles have uh, beat him. The New York, beat and him he's twice? still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we beat him twice. I'm like 99.9999% sure yeah. that we beat him twice. That means that Brady has won six and have been, had and has been to how many Super Bowls? T- uh, ten. That's insane. Hold on. I'm looking it up. That is crazy. That is crazy as an athlete to be that like dominant, right? Okay, so he's been to nine. He's been to nine Super Bowls. Oh, this is the tenth. This is the tenth. So yeah. ten, yeah. right? And I saw it. So he's been a part of eighteen percent. I saw the statistic: eighteen percent of all Super Bowls. That's insane. That's insane. That's wild. Yeah, that's insane. Eighteen percent of all Super Bowls of all time. And what's even crazier is that he can do it and win seven of those, which means he won. Hold on, this is Super Bowl fifty-five. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, so he won seven out of fifty-five Super Bowls, and has been to ten of them. 
that's it's wild it's a wild it's a wild thing to come across because we've been so fortunate to see a few um at least a few sports figures considered um to be either the goat or be in the running for the goat if he ends up winning this uh, end of the day nobody could fight him that he's the quarterback the greatest quarterback of all time or not yeah no you can't right? fight him. there's okay, already so- a hard argument that he is but if he if he goes out there and wins seven it's it's it has to be game over yeah. he's the greatest he it gets the label over. well there's somebody that, that you might be able to catch him and i think the only person that might be able to is patrick mahomes at least right now that exists yeah, that it's tough. Lie. It's it's right? tough it's to tough say to that say because it, the kid's only won one. I know right? he's this... only won one. He's not proven himself to be a, the goat yet. But yeah. if there's if there's anyone I got to choose right now, it's got to be Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, that's that's who I'm going with. I'm not going with Deshaun Watson. I'm not going with anyone else like that. Lamar but Jackson. Away, yeah, yeah. I'm not to take away from a little bit from like the deep diving in. Uh, I just did a little calculation quick. If he wins this Super Bowl, he would have won. Let's round up. 12, it's 12.7. Let's round up to 13. 13%. 13% of every Super Bowl that's ha- that's existed. Tom Brady's name is... Is, is on 13. He's lifting 13% the trophy. 13% of them. Damn. Bro, that's my wild. mind is fucking blown. But at the same time, years. and there's so much pressure. That's the thing about a Super Bowl that makes it so much more prestigious. It's not yeah. seven games, right? A Super Bowl is the reason why it's such a big collaborative event is because there's so much going on and it's so important that it's there's just so many eyes big watching cluster, yeah. one big cluster of just an explosion of everything advertising uh events entertainment artists, yeah everything uh, everything like everything, everything. my to... mom my mom does not give a shit about who went she doesn't she maybe knows who tom brady is has no clue who patrick mahomes is but she'll be watching that game just to see the halftime show, right? Just to see my J-O, sister, Shakira, the, the we the weekend, anyone. Yeah, every Michael Jackson's done the in the past. Yeah. Uh, Justin Timberlake, like the, massive events, right? Yeah. My uh, my dad, my dad, another one, not a huge football fan, but loves the fucking commercials. Yeah, it's just the such. There's something for everybody. It's such a spectacle. Just that, because you know, you know how many people are watching, and it's like, oh my god, there's, like, there's tons of football fans. Yeah. I'm sorry, non-football fans, that the only game they watch the entire year is the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, that's one game everyone's tuning into. And I and think then you have the hardcores. And the hardcores, obviously. But I think they projected over 100 million viewers this year. That's wild. Which thanks. is, like, so. on the low ball on the low ball side. Yeah. But it, it's still 100 million viewers, right? Yeah. Like, if you think about it, who has that many social media followers? Exactly. Yeah, not, not very many, right? A couple, I think, I think uh, Charlie D'Amelio is the only one who has that on any platform. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and Ronaldo. No, no, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a few. I know Kylie Jenner and stuff. Have. There's a few, have but, over but the list is. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a while ago. Ariana yeah. Grande has over 100 million. Justin yeah, Bieber too. but there, but yeah, it's but. a fine list. It's not like an easy thing to to. And it's one thing to click follow on somebody's profile. It's another thing to sit down in front of your TV and turn yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. On the channel. You know? Exactly, and then you, and then there's like tons of. Like all the content that's there gets distributed, and then that's that's seen even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So think of how many people are actually watching this collaboratively. It's crazy because me personally, I want Tom Brady to win the seventh one. Now we're gonna move into we're gonna move into our, our predictions. Our I want to hear what you think. I want to hear what you think. Go ahead. I Andrew's, Andrew's Super Bowl prediction live. I right am now. a person. I am a person. Who loves to see greatness, right? I'm the guy who does root for LeBron in the finals. Uh, if I don't have a dog in it, I do typically root for Brady and stuff. If we're going who I want to win and who I think is going to win, I don't think Tommy pulls it off. I'm going. Okay. I think Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick Mahomes starts. I think this Super Bowl will be the passing of the baton. I don't think Tom Brady will ever be in a Super Bowl again. I love him. But I think this is it. This is the end. This is the passing of the baton. Be like, it's it's your time to run with it now. See if you could if you could uh, hit seven. Okay, I'm gonna give you my quick breakdown analysis of this. There's a reason they call him the goat. <laughs> Against all odds, you could be down whatever, like he was to the Falcons. What was it twenty 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 seven? Whatever Seahawks. it was. Yeah, you can be down. Tom Brady. 
will rally a team so far back, doesn't matter what the scenario is. If you're a Tampa Bay Buccaneer and you're down any points, you're doing it not for yourself anymore. You're doing it for Tom Brady that's sitting there with six looking for seven. You know what I mean? That's that's their motivation that going into this game and it needs to happen. That's the way they win this game. That's the, that's the that's only the way one, they win this game. That's my like one X factor is that Tom Brady has been there before, right? Like you said against Atlanta, like he has been down massive and the calmness that must bring your teammates to see a guy, to see your leader be calm in those situations, being oh, like, cool. I know I could bring this back. I know we could do this. Where oh, on yeah. the other end, you have Patrick Mahomes who um, doesn't have necessarily that Super Bowl experience and stuff that if he could lose it ner- his nerve. You know what I mean? We've seen yeah. it before where th- he starts off slow in the beginning of games and they have to catch up. So that's the, the one thing that's going to be critical in this weekend um, in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay, so your pick? Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going Kansas. Locked in. Yeah. I'm going Tampa Bay Bucks. Brady for seven. Yeah. This has been the refreshing the feed Super Bowl pregame breakdown. Thank you for watching, listening, subscribe, comment, hit us up on our actual social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Follow the refreshing the feed page on page on YouTube. And thanks for watching. See you. Have a good game. Uh-huh.